Welcome to the shack. I'm Rick. As part of my yes, Riley, I'm talking on the so be quiet, my cat. As part of my everything home home improvement series, going through the house, updating, changing, you know, anything, everything a normal homeowner would go through. One thing that I am doing is I installed a reverse osmosis system. This is going to help eliminate a pitcher water purifier. It's all right here. I don't have to worry about taking up space in the fridge. I've had this in for about three weeks. Water tastes very good. I have no problems with it. I use it for coffees in the morning. I use it for my sweet tea. I make sun tea every couple days. Unless I got family over, we go through real quick, so I'm making maybe two pitchers. So I use it for that, plus I drink cold water all the time, and for hot tea at night sometimes. So this is a vital part of my lifestyle, and it takes away from having to keep filling this pitcher up. I got much more on demand versus have to keep filling that up, put in the fridge. So follow me step by step. I'm going to show you just how easy this is to install. And a little side note, there's only one thing that I changed personally. I chose to do this and that was the feed line they give you a plastic adapter to screw into your present valve that tees off you just put a quick disconnect in and you can feed your reverse osmosis I chose to get a completely new valve because I had to basically rework all this because whoever installed the plumbing installed it directly in front of my cold water valve I couldn't even get to it and I've, it's been an issue ever since I moved here, so this was a good excuse for me to just cut this off and completely reroute it and redo it properly. Plus, they didn't have the right plumbing on this part, so it was just something I had to do. But since I had that all out, I chose to bypass the plastic adapter. I bought a regular valve with two access points, one 3 8 for the feed to my faucet and a quarter inch which I put in the tubing for. That's the only difference in the insulation that I did because that was my choice. You know me, I'm not a real plasticky person. It's just something me, and I, this I think will have a little more longevity than plastic. With that said, I would suggest you follow the directions and the recommendations because that might void your warranty. I'm not too worried about that, and that's why I chose to change that. And I'll show you later on exactly what I did. So. Let's get to it.
before I get that tight. I'm going to Looks good right there. Now what I do with my wrench. <clears throat> that's right where I wanted up top, so that's good right here. That's pretty good right there, snug. Run under hot water a few minutes. It'll help it slide on. Quick connect. That just screws onto the bottom. And it does not work on that one. There it goes. This is hand tighten only. Don't need to go crazy with this. There, that's all you need to do. There we go. As per the instructions, this is the only thing that I altered. Instead of installing the provided plastic valve, the adapter, since I had to redo the plumbing underneath here, I couldn't even get to this valve because who, whoever originally did the plumbing put the drain line right in front of this valve. I couldn't get to it, and this is my cold water line. I opt to go ahead and get a dual valve so I can have one three-eighths for the faucet and the quarter-inch outlet for the fill line for the reverse osmosis system. But this is the only thing I chose. I do not recommend it, but this is the way I chose to do it. If you choose to do it, it may somehow void warranty. I'm not sure, but I'm okay with that. Um, but this is the only thing I did differently. I chose to do it this way.
Now I can even fill up my jug for sun tea where I used to have to fill it up through the refrigerator. This goes much faster. I love this thing. It's taking the place of our pitchered filter water. Gives me more space in the refrigerator now. Fill up my sun tea, I fill up drinking water, and every morning for a coffee and evening for our hot tea. So always thank you so much for taking the time to view. Um, follow me on Twitter. I will tweet out any new upcoming videos, and this year is a lot of home improvements. A lot of stuff to do with the home. Uh, and still try to get some projects in and, and doing things in the shack, trying to clean it out still. Um, uh, hit the subscription button. And if you do on that, also hit the notifications. So either be it Twitter or YouTube will notify you when the videos come out. And I'll expect you to watch everything I put out. But this way gives you a notification of something that may interest you or if you be maybe or we're looking into getting something like this, it'll let you know and it'll give you a heads up. I think that's it, so either follow me on Twitter, hit the subscription button, and always, always, I truly appreciate you taking the time to view. So get out there, take some time for yourself, clean out a spot, and just do something. Build it for a friend, build it for family. Always could be an heirloom. Most importantly, just build it for your sanity. Thanks again for watching. See you next video. I gotta take this out and make more sun tea.